Okay, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be reviewing conditions. Okay, and it's going to be very easy as opposed to many, many other programming languages because you really only have one, you could call it maybe two, three types of conditions. Okay, the conditions are going to be right here on the left hand side under the condition tab, and it's written in an if format. Okay, so meaning if this expression in here is true, then execute the code in between the brackets. Okay, so let's just do something easy. Let us say this is true, and we're just going to set it to a Boolean value of true. So if this is true, then info it must be so. Okay. Let's see if this works. It must be so, okay? So if you do false, what do you expect? Nothing, right? Okay, that is basically the principle of Zoe Deluge, um, the conditional statement. If you want to execute, let's say, if this is true, but you want to do something just in case it's false, you can say else. Um, it must not be so. Okay, you can do an if else statement. It must be so because it's true. And then let's try false. What do we expect? It must not be so. That's correct. Okay, so say you want to have more options than just true or false. You can do an else if. So let's say if this is true equals true. Else if this is true equals false, okay, to check to see if something's equals instead of you'll do the, instead of the equal sign, right? This is assigning an expression to a variable. This is checking the equals equals is checking to see if they are equal to each other, okay? So you can say, let me just reformat this code to make it a little bit easier to understand. Else info we didn't receive anything okay so let's start with the true case we already know what we expect we expect it to be it must be so if it's false we know what to expect right it must not be so but say we don't receive anything say we just receive a null value Null meaning there is nothing there. Okay, that's and that's how you do an if, else if, else check. Instead of doing, you know, checking to see if a value equals another value, you can spec you could do let's say numbers. And let's say if this is true it is greater than five, less than five. Or it's just going to, if it's equal to 5, we're going to say it is equal. Okay? And let's see how we could look at this. So it is equal. Let's do 6. So it must be so. And let's try 4. You could do any statement you want that returns a Boolean value in here. Okay, so if you have two dates and you want to see if this date is before that date, you can do that. If you want to even do like a null check, so let's say if this is true, does not equal null. So remember, if you remember one of the previous videos, that exclamation point is a not equals not. So not equal to null, execute. So say you are going to fetch some data, and it may or may re not, not return data, but you don't know what the case may be, you can do a statement like this, and it'll work really well for you. Okay, and that's how you do an if, else if, or else statements in Zoho Deluge. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next lesson.